Hello YouTubers and on today's episode of this Weeping Willow Bonsai I'm going to be talking all about dieback due to cold. Now this usually happens on newer shoots but corkscrew willow, any willow has a tendency for branches just to die. Now, I've had little shoots, little branches die, but I've not had a big branch die on this yet, fingers crossed. But try to avoid that would be to put this in the greenhouse over winter so it's protected. Um, but she's healing up well. A couple of cuts I did two years ago and it nearly completely healed up. Now, I've left so many shoots and branches on this just because of dieback over the winter. I don't know how harsh, I live in England, I don't know how harsh the winter's gonna be this year, next year, basically, January, February, March, April sort of time. But there we go. That's now we've we've not really had any frosts. I think it's been like four, three degrees at night, and that's already starting to die back already. Now I've just had this outside the window, so it's not been protected in any way, shape, or form. So I'm starting to think, right, okay. So we've got a few problem branches. This was a branch I did cut off. It was a lot longer than that because I was concerned that it was dying. And we've got a little bit of dead on there, but that can be rectified because I've put, left that branch above, as you can see. So we'll cut that off, I think. I've got another. See, that's how they start. They just start. That's why I like to leave these branches long. So when it starts to die back, I can just keep nipping it off to above where it's died back and hopefully it won't die back anymore and that's my theory anyway that's what I did last year and so I've, I've learned now this whole branch is dead but it's weird yeah see it's dead all the way up to there as you can see and then we've got this other branch coming off it further up but that's alive so that's alive but if you look further at the branch that's dead so live can grow in the dead wood but I don't want that so I think I'm gonna get rid of that whole branch have a look step back see what that look like well I haven't got a choice it's coming out so I like to use my trusty wire cutters for this sort of exercise I always have a second chunk look and I think, yeah, it's coming out. Pow. And to be fair, I think that looks a lot better like that. Well, I've wired these. You can always just manipulate the wire a little bit, just so there's not such a big gap. But yeah, so after that, because this is a weeping willow and they like to branches like to die, I don't want them to dry up so I like to cover the wound with um, a compass, like so. So this is another branch I'm not happy about with now. Uh, that curve on that, I don't like that. So I've been, I've had that wedged under there to keep that branch down on the left. And I'm gonna get rid of this one on the right. I, I don't want that on there. It, it looks out of proportion with the rest of the tree. Plus I wanna sort of show off more of that trunk and that big branch structure. And I don't want that as close to that. So, I think I've made my mind up, it's coming out. Now, 
once again I use my trusty wire cutters. Pow! I just have that off like that. That looks better already. Now you've got that branch just above that as well that I will wire. Not today, I can't be bothered. But that will get wired and um, that'll, that'll blend in quite well with what I've, what I've achieved there already. Now you've got to remember this this cutting is only just over two years old. September, October, November. Two years, two months from the cutting. And you can see the, the structure I've got all on it already, so it could keep you busy. Now, I'm glad I don't have that many bonsais really, because I wouldn't be able to spend as much time on this as I I I'd, I'd like to if I had like as many bonsais as Nige or Peter. Um, I haven't got the time, but I have, and that's another bit of dead that can come out. And like I'm getting bits dying off like this, and we've only had like four four three degrees like we've had a couple of the light frost but that was ages ago and this was still actively growing back then so it's only of late that this is starting to happen so she will be going back in the greenhouse just for, to protect her because I'd like to try to leave some of this length on all these branches so I can get a secondary ramification coming off them, so it looks so it looks look epic. But yeah, she's getting there. I think she's getting there. And halfway through the winter, I might take like a couple of these wires off just to see if some of these branches have held. Well, I might even do that in a month or two's time because I, I wired this and it was still actively growing. So I might do it on a couple or one, just see what happens. If not, I'll just leave them on and take them off in the spring and it starts shooting out again. So it would, it would be nice to look at this come spring without any wires on when the new shoots, because that's when it's going to look epic. It will look really good, it will. Really great. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Gizzy Green Fingers. Ta-da for now.